sex animal. seat. Um, hey, you know you could fly. So, in also, the... from uh, from the last uh, from from three years ago, as of today, um, we uh, Spencer and I did a presentation for Dapper Day. We were talking about this right before the stream Dapster started. Day. I'm putting it in the chat here if you guys want to take a look. Um, Ever. But yeah, so obviously, so with Dapper Day, like, uh, the full story is that I, um, you know, Spencer and I are a big, we're, we're big fans of Dapper Day, and we still are. We still like going to the events. Um, the, the founder huh. of Dapper Day is a, um, I don't know, what, what is, what is Justin? He's like an artist or something, or designer, or brand I guy? don't know. Almost, I don't sure. know much about him. Yeah, uh, but you guys can look up on that. Like he, he got inspired by the old illustrate concept art of Disneyland, where people were wearing like you know, bow ties, neckties, sack jackets, and everything to, to, uh, <clears throat> and he wanted to do an event like that, and so obviously he started it unofficially. Like we said, like a couple streams ago, there was the whole um, you know, like there's like Pirate Day and Steampunk Day that's also unaffiliated. You know, these are just fan stuff, and he started Dapper Day. Um, and one of the Dapper Days I went to, I think in 2014 or 15, um, they used to do the expo in the Cal Grand Californian Hotel. Now it is at the less cool, uh, regular hotel. Holiday Inn. The Disneyland, <laughs> Disneyland Hotel. But the Grand Californian is like, you know, because the Grand Californian, Arkansas. you know, it's like based on like the old, like, you know, f oh, Boulder Fox now. Oh, hey, hey. no, you're the dead. <laughs> Um, I'm upside down. But they're so they they are. Um, Aren't we all? The Grand California was like a nicer hotel in Disneyland, right? It's like one of the nicer ones, like for professional events and everything like that. And that year, either 2014 you uh, was the launch of a very special book called "I Am Dandy" by Rose Callahan and Natty and Natty Adams. And I went to that panel to see them talk about it. And I like brought my book and I had them sign it. It was so big, which is kind of funny because in New York we had to hang out with them. And Natty, I hung out with Natty a couple of times. They're really great people. And and Rose Callahan's one of like the best photographers of all time, you know. Um, but at the, at the moment I was like, just like a fanboy, right? And then when I was on the boat, uh, the Mark Twain uh, at Disneyland, uh, oh, it happened to be the same boat that Rose and Natty were on, and I took a picture with them. And she took a picture okay. of us that made it into the like OC Week <laughs> magazine or whatever. Okay. And um and it kinda got me like um you know to interact with Justin Jorgensen, the founder of Dapper Day. And ever since then, you know, I started the blog, it got bigger, I started to cover street style at Dapper Day. I would write about the experiences about Dapper Day. I mean, Day that was like really what uh, that did give you a big boost at the beginning. Yeah. Cause what I would do is, you know, like like uh I don't know if you guys look uh remember like the the style blogger art of style but every so often alex um, crawford the photographer for for article style would go out into the street and just take pictures of people give them the article like give them a, like a business card and that way they would be you know shown on articles of style and i'm like well that's genius marketing uh, i'm gonna do that for dapper day because it's the only sartorial like i don't like if I walk around Pasadena, who am I gonna see? Fucking parents with their kids or whatever, you know? Yes, and, um, and you're gonna take pictures of them, and you're gonna like it, and then you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna you're, like it, bitch. And, and they're gonna use your photo as a Christmas card. <laughs> yeah, fuck um, you, fuck you. So, uh, yeah, I would. Uh, Are you I would, in I would, Doom I right now, Spencer? I, would... I am in Doom. <laughs> I'm still loading in. Um, everyone's fucking dead here, bro. Oh, I wonder why. I just kill them, kill them. Um, Take that, dumbass. So fuck you. They, uh, um, I would, I wouldn't. Yeah, so that kind of boosted taking these pictures of like random people that day that I thought were good. At first, I took pictures of anyone who was remotely wearing a suit, and then that's actually how I met my ex because uh, they also took pictures of girls too. Like, oh, this girl's wearing like a vintage dress at like school or something. That's how I met my first ex. Um. <laughs> And then uh, I, I started to get more curated after that, and then and I just stopped because uh, Dapper Day isn't the best place to see sartorial style in the way that I wanted. You should it. Uh, read those old blog posts and read all the nicknames he gave to the people. <laughs> yeah, because so articles of style did that too, where they would like give a nickname. If a guy's wearing a turtleneck, they'd call him like the Turtle Man. Not not that bad, but that's the kind turtle of Turtle Man. <laughs> and I turtleneck so I Tony. Would, and so imagine me 
shooting like five like like uh, like hundreds of people for Dapper Day, you know, like street style, and having to come up with a snappy name for these people. So like, yeah, I think Johnny the Tambourine. part is like pretty. It's pretty like clever as it goes down. It's just like me naming one thing that they're wearing, you know. <laughs> Eventually, as it goes down. But anyway, long story short, I became like you know the kind of like menswear guy of like Dapper Day. And also, like younger uh, person oh. is different because they also had like phoenix something some guy some like white guy who is like the uh he's like an author of like kitsch americana or like knickknacks or something like that shit i don't know but uh but anyway i was like you know me and spencer were like the menswear people who would go out and document and everything and by 2017 um you know dapper day was growing and they said hey ethan would you be interested in making a presentation for dapper day because number one justin was tired of people wearing suspenders with belts uh and people wearing oh, like oh, well. black caps and bow ties you know because he he wears like couture so like you know he's kind of you know he wears like like a gucci like a uh, dinner jacket with like kind of like floral but like you know kind of like kind of peacocky but still kind of interesting but yeah. uh, we didn't like how you know he's told me this before like we don't he doesn't like how for Dapper Day, Talk people would just wear, you know, like like a like a trilby and like a like a bow tie and like suspenders and like khakis or jeans or something well, like that. Well, let me you know? it's and yeah, so, it's a little costumey. Let me yeah. let me find. I'll and, I'll send you an invite to a place. I'll find something. Actually, but, the year but, the year before, I um <laughs> me I actually made a video about that kind of stuff, which uh, is really uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Uh, we had our friend film it, and then I edited it myself. Um, is this when is this the assassination of Osama bin Laden? <laughs> oh <laughs> God! Bin Laden. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, eventually, we started to do, like you know we started to do uh, they asked us to do a presentation because they started doing programming for Dapper Day. Like they would have like you know girls would do like period hair. Uh, you know they Chris. would have a, a guy talk about like kitschy Americana shit. I don't know the best to make cosmetics. You know with like with um makeup and so they wanted some menswear content Come so they had, me, they had uh they asked me to do it, and I said, hey, I have to do it because i don't want to talk just by myself SMT and we did it and it basically oh. is kind of what the podcast is you know like you watch it and it's just me and spencer talking about menswear um, riffing for an hour <laughs> There's not that many jokes because I, you know, we wanted people to understand it, and also like this was like the first thing we've ever done, you know. Um, but yeah, it definitely was not crowded in that room. <laughs> it was oh, like wow. it was like twenty, maybe max thirty people. At, at, so do that. people not care for like the programming they do, or, or is it just no? Well, you would you would assume that, but uh, <laughs> they just didn't we, care about you. When we finished. The next one up was Best May Cosmetics, which is a big vintage reproduction, vintage-themed cosmetics brand for, for women or whoever. And the line for that was super long <laughs> when, we, when we walked out of the walked out of that little like uh, uh, theater hall or whatever it is. So, yeah, the pull of Ethan M. Wong of Style and Direction, even though that wasn't really a thing back then, uh, as you can expect, did not bring in the big... Oh, God. Spencer, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> We're doing Beat Saber, which is great. Um, yeah, we did that one. It's 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 fun. To check it out, uh, especially if you're you know modern guys kind of don't learn about uh, period accurate. I'm terrible at this. Uh, you can you can watch you can watch the video. Are you and, try. You um, do it. Okay. And uh, yeah. It's weird. It's three. Yeah, it's three. It's three years old. I um, oh, I was on Facebook and it told me that it was you know, hey, these happened three years ago. And thank God we had our friend, uh, our friend Mac John, oh, with John. Our, yeah, because he filmed it and he's like he's like a professional video guy. I mean, he wasn't. He was like taking pictures too. So, there, but at least we had a camera, um, you know, recording it. And he also, we also were mic'd up. You know, so pick him up. We, yeah, um, we could actually have like good audio because otherwise you'd be like, you know, it'd be bad, right? Um, but yeah, fun stuff, man. It's crazy that. Uh, oh, I was ready. But it's three years old, man. What else happened three years ago? I was single three years ago. I'm, I'm single now. You're still single now. <laughs> Nothing's so. changed. Nothing's changed. 